talk to you about a less than pleasant subject, but it's something we need to talk about, and that's shop safety. Now, if you haven't seen New Yankee Workshop, I really encourage you to go check out an old episode. Norm Abram had some of the best advice, which is always read and understand your shop tool manuals. And more than anything else, always use these safety glasses, or in my case, uh, safety rated prescription lenses. But that's not really what I want to talk to you about. What I want to talk to you about is fatigue, lack of attention, and just overall tiredness. You may notice that my videos aren't exactly um, as frequent as I would like them, and probably as frequent as you would like them. And I do apologize for that, but I've got a really good reason for that. I work a very demanding job that requires a lot of hours from me. I have extended family commitments. I have commitments within my own family. Plus, we have church activities, and I like to relax every now and then. <clears throat> I don't get enough sleep. Plain and simple. I really don't. I should. I'm working on it. It's, <laughs> sleeping better would certainly help my weight. But when it comes to working in the shop, I need to give you an example that to this day still haunts me. In 1995, I worked in a nationally branded auto repair chain. Um, I don't want to use their specific name, uh, legal reasons. But I worked in a nationally branded auto repair chain. Uh, I was doing... Uh, I was their senior most brakes and front end guy. I had a junior technician that we were training who was not fully trained on the tire changer yet. Um, he was not certified to be using that machine. But he'd been, I mean, he'd gotten some training, uh, but we were he just wasn't to the point where he could have been using it unsupervised. He... When I was at lunch, he grabbed a ticket and started working on a tire change for a customer. He hadn't slept but about two hours the previous night. He really wasn't paying attention. One thing led to another, and his right index finger got caught up with the machinery. I don't want to go into the gory details, but 911 was called... Nasties were everywhere. <sighs> that taught me more than anything else in my life that a momentary lapse in judgment, some attention going somewhere else where it really shouldn't be when you're using power tools. Hand tools are pretty dangerous too when you think about it. But power tools move a whole lot faster than hand tools do. You've got to be extra, extra, extra extra careful with them. Always, always read and understand the instructions that came with your power tool. Always use the proper personal protective equipment. If you have long hair, tie it up. Put it under a hat. Make sure nothing long flowing, no long sleeves, no shirt tails, none of that. We don't want any of that stuff getting caught up with spinning machinery. I've seen too much of it and to be blunt it really shouldn't ever happen. Use your mind, use your head, God gave it to you for a reason. Read those instructions. If you don't understand them, ask somebody. There's tons of great internet forums out there. I got a pitch for one www.sawdustzone.org The folks on that forum will answer your safety questions. If they understand them, and if they don't, they will research them for you. <sighs> okay. Now, with that said, I just wanted to tell you that, I, again, with every one of my videos, or at least most of them, I try to sign it off with the be productive, be safe, and most of all, be blessed. That safe is in there. 
and it's in there for a reason. It's not just a catchphrase. It's not just shtick that I put in there for no reason. I want each and every one of you, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I want you to work safely. I want you to have fun. I want you to have a blessed life. That's all I got to say for today. I'll talk to you later. And I want you to get out to your shop. Be productive. I'm going to hit on this one. Be safe. And again, most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later.